and speak to this guy first. Wait, did I? Yeah, I got what he wanted. You should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. Awesome. What can I do for you? Huh. I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Hmm. Sorry, it was really open. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. I thought it was a good review. It's been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. I don't understand, dude. Who cares what they think you're in charge now? In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you made it work. There you go. That's more than anyone can say for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? So in case you guys didn't see, basically we saw his review. And what it said was, this guy is getting work done, he's doing it too fast, and he's not saying enough of our crappy slogans instead of giving us proper information or some shit like that. Basically, they were faulting him for being good at his actual job. It's, it's insane. So I trust this guy. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. <laughs> Try to control yourself, sir. <laughs> you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. MSI Elite Helm. Cool. What is that? How exactly is a data cottage going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. Okay. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Finally, the board will get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. Oh. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. <laughs> I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Really? Most of the time, they do illegal stuff out in the open. Cheaper that way. If we can find proof, I can <laughs> use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Awesome. Sanjar, you sly dog. Hey, Reduce Silver. Everyone is probably concentrating on the game right now. That's why they're not chatting. It's been pretty intense for the last couple of minutes, especially this conversation with this guy. I was just telling everyone how... This guy is being shot down by all the big corporations and the board and everyone else because he's actually working hard. Rough world we live in here in the outer worlds. Rough. I'm, I'm getting to call him a sly dog. I, I gotta say, the story is pretty interesting. Yeah, no, absolutely. You really think so? Don't encourage him. Ah, I'm enjoying it! I admit, I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. That's sick, dude. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Absolutely. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? That's exactly how. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its nice operation. music, yeah. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Hmm. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap staff. I'm on it. There we go. I knew you were the right person for the job. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. I don't want to ask him anything. I just want to see. What's the hazard clause? 
Oh, hold on. I want to ask about Graham. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. You people. Yeah, referring to adventurers. You doing BRD again? Dude, good luck. Hmm. They sound pretty bad. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all mm. as destructive rebels. And kind of sad for this guy. From the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. Mm. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. Okay, what's the hazard clause? That's the last thing I want to ask about. It's straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. Mm. For the greater good. Allegedly. Genius. Yes. Making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. How'd you get kicked off the board in the first place? Wait, why do you want back on the board? Okay. What can I do for you? Don't need to hear the rest of it. Cool, man. I really like Sanjar. And, and Celia. This is all pretty good. This is like, this is an interesting story. I like it. Alright, so what else do we have to hand in here? Velma. Velma, Velma, Velma. Here we go. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit to that. Oh, I want to check the helmet that I got. Who the hell is this guy? What's he doing here? I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. You're fine. I got some news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? He's dead. He was killed by cannibals out in the ruins. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah, you should. Cheer up, maybe you can go hire someone better. It's a rotten way to go. There you go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Hmm. Something else on your mind? No, I'm done. Okay, what was the other thing I needed to do here? Meet with Catherine. Follow up with Catherine. Oh my god. Okay, Tucker. Fulbrook. Wait, what is this one? Top of Devil's Peak. Where's Top of Devil's Peak? Oh my god. Oh. Wait. No. Okay, we came to about here. I was about to say, damn, it would have been shit if we went all the way out and we didn't go there. Okay. So, where's Fulbrook then? Wait, where's Tucker? There? Uh, where's Fulbrook then? Okay, down here. Fine, so I think we're gonna go out and we're gonna go down this way next. Take down the board and let Sanjar run it all? Dude, I would love to do that. You know what? I'd love it if they gave me that choice. So, first things first, I think... Where's this guy? Also there. I think we're gonna be... Wait, what's this? Oh, it's right there. We're gonna be in Tucker first, because he's like, he's on the way there. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to a workshop quickly. Uh, then we're gonna... Or we can go to a regular shop, not a workshop. Here's a workbench. I don't know if I want to improve any of this stuff because like am I really using it? That's the question. It's like no, the answer is no, I'm not really using any of it.
Okay. Let's check what we got. This guy? Heavy. Ranged weapon. Spread minus 10. That's pretty okay. I'll put that on one of my companions, I guess. Oh, wait. This Nyoka. She doesn't even have a helmet, right? Yeah, for now, I guess. Oh, wait. Is that a unique item? It's a unique item. Why, though? I don't get it. Spread minus 10% is not that special. Uh, okay. I might take her her gear for myself, by the way. I think I'm going to. So I'm going to give her, like, some heavy armor. Like that. And then I'm going to... Uh, Then I'm going to take hers for myself. I'm going to look slick as heck in this. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's slick as heck, but I kind of like it. So, uh, that's good. Then the other thing I wanted was headgear. Determination plus five. That's all right. Lockpick plus five. I don't know. None of this seems useful. But that, then again, lockpick plus five seems pretty damn stupid. So let's rather put something that's actually got like like this it's medical. That helps more. Oh my god. Full cranial helmet, Hephaestus. 38 armor. That can go on Ellie. Yeah. Wait, that's not it. Where is it? Here. Okay, let's let's tinker quickly one more with this. Where's the one I'm wearing? Oh, I can't tinker with it? Or can I? Am I missing it here? I don't seem to be able to t tinker. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. This was modify, not tinker. So the assault rifle I can modify. Maybe I should do that. Quiet muzzler, fun times barrel. Critical damage plus 25%. I'm not going to silently use the assault rifle, so let's do that. So mag 2 powers, plasma ammo, shock ammo, or magazine size. Let's put magazine size on. And then... Spread less, range extra, post armor damage extra. Whoa, whoa, wait. That looks important. It's whatever. Let's put it on. Don't care. And then let's just tinker it a bit more because I want more damage on it. 1,000 to tinker. Screw it. We're good. Put plasma instead of bigger. You think plasma is good? Hey, Annalene, what up? You think plasma is good? I, I don't... I really don't know the difference. It's like 15% more damage. Okay. Plasma, here we go. So what does the weapon look like now? 900 DPS! Yes! Okay, let's let's take it out for a ride. Let's take it for a spin. I must admit, I've not like I've not gotten to the point where I like really enjoy any any one gun, you know. So I handed everything in, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So there. Thanks, Rado. That's a good tip. So, south. Yeah, we're going down this way. Reminds me of the crew cabin on one of my first ships. You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years. <laughs> what? Here's a marauder. Ah, uh, this is bad. I've now got it here, but it's kind of bad for the recoil. 
Oh, okay. It's kind of it's kind of iffy with the recoil. Oh, I guess it'll be fine in in TTD. Actually, it's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say like this. The zoom is actually a bit much. Actually, get an extra TTD here. Cool, man. I actually kept that going for a while just because I killed a bunch of stuff while in TTD. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Rado made a good suggestion. I can barely see there. That's how it's done, Captain. Okay, this is fun. I really, uh, honestly, oof, man. You still got a ways to go. Still on Monarch yourself. So three to four more planets to visit. Oh, wow. Yeah, Rado hasn't. So Rado's not done yet, but he's he's got a way to go. I mean, he's, he's, he's gone th away through it already. Better than me, obviously. But like, Monarch seems big, dude. Monarch seems like it's going to be a bit of a grind. Which is fine. Like, I just mean it's going to be a lot. Is that an enemy? This gun is cool, man. I like it. Hey, John, what up? The game looks interesting. That's good, dude. I think it's interesting. I'm glad it looks interesting. It's the Outer Worlds, in case you didn't know. It's sort of like Fallout. It's also sort of like... Uh, Bioshock a little bit, sort of like Mass Effect a little bit. It's sort of like a mix of a lot of things. Watch your feet. Hasn't Don't been that long, John. I'll take a toe off. But it's good to see you, man. How are you doing? Hello? Let's just wait till they get a bit closer. That's the good shit. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Covering you. Unnecessary. Everyone's dead. But thanks anyway. Ooh. Leaded armor. Man, if that's how the armor looks, that's pretty sick. It looks really nice. That's good to hear, man. I'm doing great. Honestly, I've really been enjoying... Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I've really been enjoying the Outer Worlds. And yeah, man, I have nothing really to complain about. It's just... It's good. It's all good. The, the next couple of weeks are going to be absolutely insane. As a gamer, it's going to be super cool. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Uh, obviously, uh, everyone knows that includes BlizzCon. So that's pretty sick, man. Like I said, nothing to complain about. I kind of like this this type of settlement where the buildings are like nicely built into the mountain and stuff and it's like all the way up. Uh, no, I'm hoping we can go up there. I think leading with abilities is a good idea, but I should I should open fire then lead with their ability. Why well, should why well, should TTD open fire TTD abilities and then go with that. So like this, I'll show you. Well, now everyone's dead, so that's kind of pointless. <laughs> okay. Couldn't really show you there. How would I score the game so far? Dude, it's got a, it's got a pretty solid score. And, like, the only... Um, for me, the only downsides right now... One, there's a lot of reading, dude. And a lot of talking. 
and there are too many lulls in gameplay but that's not really a it's not really a downside it's just like you need to just immerse yourself in it and it's fine and two is just performance rated stuff so like that's the only negatives for me uh but the positives are like gonna vastly outweigh that any way you spin it i'd, I'd already give it like a 8.5 at least at least did I hear about Overwatch 2? Yeah, man. I saw. I saw. We discussed it the other night. Well, like, was it yesterday? Or was it the day night before? I don't remember. But Overwatch 2, I I like the idea, but I think it's too soon for Overwatch 2. And on top of that, I, I don't know, man. Like, is there enough in that to warrant it being a full new game? I don't know. I don't know. I think the idea is ridiculous, but it might be saved by good implementation. Let's see what they do with it. Overwatch 2 is apparently a real thing. It's going to be announced at BlizzCon. It hasn't been officially announced yet, but it's been confirmed that it's a it's a thing that's coming, I guess. Bayside Terrace Ruins. Terrace. That's what this is called. It's called Terrace Inn. Hope it's just an expansion. Yeah, maybe the 2 is just a uh, placeholder, and when they announce it, it'll be something else. Honestly, I don't really care. Look, t to me... If they release Overwatch 2, it's the same. It's like, it's whatever. Like, I don't care. I honestly don't care. Uh, as long as, as long as it's good. You know? As long as whatever it is, is good. That's my, that's my thing where that's concerned. Okay. I mean, this is interesting. So wait, I was looking for... He's over there. So this is just extra exploration that I'm doing here. Warehouse discovered. I'm almost... Yeah, I'm almost certain there's going to be like a quest here or something. This is an explorable area. Do I go in? I'm going in. Screw it. Sealed. This is cool. Bit of a mystery? I'll take it. Oh, this is the same building layout as we saw in Edgewater. Interesting. They don't you don't play Overwatch anymore since you, they nerfed your boy Roadhog when they did the weird hook changes. Is that when they nerfed your boy Roadhog? Hey M82, good to see you. I must admit I'm not very good with Roadhog. But I have been recently, and I talk about this quite often, I've been recently trying to diversify. So not just in like, in Overwatch, but in, in most games that I play, I try, I try spread myself across like a lot of different experiences at least, just so I can like, basically have a better time. You know, so I, in Overwatch I try play uh, a bunch of different heroes, and uh, I try, so like, like, I guess you could say full different roles. I basically just try and do more stuff to make it more fun, is what I'm saying. And, and it works. It works. Same same thing in Apex. In Apex, I've been trying to use different guns. I, I don't just immediately shut down a weapon because I just don't like... You know, I give it a chance. I give everything a chance. I give everything a try. And it, it has been, honestly, uh, pretty cool. That's pretty cool looking armor, wow. Why did they make sniper rifles so shit in this game? I'd love to hear. Like, I I'd love to hear from if just anyone actually. Why are sniper rifles so bad? Do they, do they just, do they not care? What's going on here? Uh, when you could not hook, shoot, punch to kill low health characters, now his damage just seems like a gun shoots nerf darts. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I know. I, I mean, I know that from the receiving end. Uh, it feels much easier to play against Roadhog now. It's like a free kill, basically. You say that until you find the charge rifle. Hey, listen, I think the charge rifle nerfs. I'm going to put it on, on par with everything else, and I, I might not use it so much anymore. But we'll see. I might use the longbow and the scout now, which makes it even better. It goes according to plan, you know?
I trust all's well. M82. Let's check this thing out. Uh, warning unauthorized access to Cooper Marathon injury, death, or unemployment. Calibration process estimated completion 341 days. Okay, that's. I swear this is probably for. This has to be for a quest or something, right? This place. There's no, there's no way it's not, you know. Yeah, we're gonna come here for a quest. Oh, oh, absolutely. It's got a fast travel area to it, so let's just leave it for now. Snipers in real life are also not always good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, they serve a purpose, but in this, they don't even serve the purpose I'd expect the, the sniper rifle to serve. It's like the damage dealt by a single shot from a damn sniper rifle in this is lower than right now than one shot from my damn assault rifle, which it kind of weirds me out. It messes with me completely. Okay, we're heading down the road here. Oh, is that a guy? Hey, buddy. Okay. What? Hello? Is that so, or is the DPS the same? No, it's exactly so. I think they just forgot to balance the guns. Let me show you. Let me show you. Sniper rifle. Uh, wait, unmodded. The, okay, this is a modded, a heavily modded sniper rifle. DPS 242. Okay. I'm doing it wrong. Snipers hit for about 1k for me, and there's still uh, lots of room for improvement. Okay, you gotta tell me how to do it. Oh my god, Ratto. You got, okay, I'm doing it wrong. Yes, 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 yes. Because I don't understand. Why is my DPS on this? It's a long gun, and this is a long gun too. Why is the DPS on that so low? I need to figure this out. I'm testing it again. 500. The last of them. A headshot, 500. And I've got I've got the 20% more damage in the head, by the way. Okay, maybe I need to do... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I am doing it wrong. Maybe I need to mod it more. Interesting, interesting. Let's test. Does your sniper just suck? It's possible. DPS is slow because it attacks very slow. It doesn't include stuff like sneak attacks and headshots. Okay. I don't know if that was a sneak attack right there. Okay, cool, Ratto. Cool, 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 Ratto. I'm ready. Let's check. Give me more marauders, please. A part of me wants to just go up here and look what this is quickly because there's a house up here. So that part wins. Lumen just sucks. Say that to the Lumen who doesn't suck. Please. I dare you. I, I double, triple, dog dare you. Okay, sneak. Let's go. That's what I thought. How much was that? 800. Not bad. Oh! And we didn't aggro them. That's sick. Okay, wait. No, no, no. Rado, maybe we've got we've got a contender here. Maybe we're okay. Here we go. One thousand. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just shit. I don't know. That's quite possible that I'm just shit. He says while pulling a stunt like that. Holy shit, boys. We are not shit. That was insane. That shot was one for the books. One for the montage. For the highlight reel. We still using it. I, I was literally, tracks. I was literally just testing it to see if the uh, damage was, you know. Because I was complaining. I was saying my snipers don't do any damage. And then Ratto was like, hey, you're using it wrong. And I was like, whoa, you're right. And I just tested it. And it seems like, yeah, man, can confirm I was using it wrong. I need to upgrade it more. It's really good. Go for 18 long guns, then we're talking. Okay, man. Okay. You and your sweet words. 55 in long guns. No weapon sway for 5 seconds after each kill. Oh, I don't need... What weapon sway means, no difference. But the critical hits ignore 100% armor. Now that right there. Go for 100, you say. Okay. So Rado says go for 100. 
This messes with some. It's, oof, man. When buildings are skewed like this, God, it just throws me off. I love it. Keeping me on my toes, game. You're keeping me on my damn toes. What was that that I just picked up? Tossed something or other? Yeah, it's like, it's like, this assault rifle that I just modded here is... Wait, where's my assault rifle? I'm putting the assault rifle back because it's really good anyway. It's really good, man. It feels fun to use. It's solid. It's like, it's good in a, it's good in a brawl, you know? Okay, here's the place we were meant to go. You recently got Metal Gear Solid 5, and you also got to borrow Final Fantasy 15 from your uncle, so you've been quite busy. Also, no school this week. That's cool, man. John, that sounds awesome. Metal Gear Solid 5, I haven't played. Final Fantasy 15, I have played. I know Final Fantasy 15 is a good experience. I think it would be a decent game. I don't know how good it is as a Final Fantasy game, but I'm sure it's a decent experience. Like, I played quite a little... Well, not a lot, but I played a bit of it, and I enjoyed what I played, so... Can't go wrong there. Reduce silver, it's, it's great that you've been productive today. That's awesome. I got my boy passed out next to me over here. I'm happy. What are these flags? They look like they have good food here. What the shit, man? Nice. I hear something. Oh, it's the tops flapping in the wind. Okay. Cool camp. This looks nice. Amber Heights. What? Oh my god, is it a town? You grew up, grew up watching Cheers on TV Land and then Frasier later. We grew up watching Frasier... Uh, Seinfeld. That's all I remember. <laughs> Lots of... We watched TV with my parents, okay? We watched TV with my parents. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. Not Cheers. They watched Please Cheers. We didn't watch that. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. Oh. He wrote it himself, you know? Mm. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Wow. Gosh darn it. Who are you? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. That's no a lie. No shackles, no problems. What about raptodons and marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Uh, sure. I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Oh no. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm listening. I'm glad Don't you're worry. asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Probably not. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. <laughs> I think she was our sawbones back then, but now sawbones. she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then mm. she'll sew it back on for you. Oh. Okay, where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Hmm. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay. I hope this place isn't too big. Because gosh darn it, I would sure hate to have to speak to a bunch of people here. I ought 
to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Okay. Tinker, um, let's break it down. Sorry, that's how Lucio sounds to me sometimes. What can I say? Uh, okay, so weapon range, extendo sight, gyro sight. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet muzzler, fun times barrel. Now we're good. There's nothing else to really change here. So, Tinker. Screw it. I'm not going to spend any more money on that gun. I'll probably find a better one soon. I'm not using Ultimatum very much. I'll probably have to replace that. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's go. What a bunch of junk. Oh, whoops. Hello? Nice armor. Can I check this out? The Huxley's terminal stay out. That means you. Aerodutics. That's a hard pass. I'm sure this is telling me a whole lot about life here in the camp and about these people and about how they, I should, like, honestly, I should probably read this so that I know what to think of them, but I'm not going to. I just fixed his computer for him. Why did I do that? What? You have 25k monies, you can afford to spend a few hundred on making your weapons good. What? It's a few thousand. It's costing a thousand per pop. Copy of Distant Hunt to the Hero Bread becomes a hellhole. Monarch numerous edits scratched into the text. Number of villainous dissidents have mustaches. Okay. Uh, it's Look, for instance, now on the sniper rifle, if I tinker with it, it costs 1,200 per click. Scrooge McLuhan. Yeah, that's me, man. When it comes to spending money... I gotta think twice, and then thrice, and then not do it anyway. Yeah, John, I'm with you on that for the most part, but like, I like to read some of the text. I honestly do. Like, some of it's really interesting, but when it's like six paragraphs in a row, and it's mundane stuff that I really don't, or, or shouldn't even care about, yeah, I'm a pass. Oh, here's the triage. Current patients, Ezekiel, uh, Manti infested, fractured ankle, uh, what's this, bullet wounds, chest arm ring, acid burns, okay. Oh. <clears throat> cool, okay. She's not here. She must be shouting at the other guys somewhere. Two to three K per whip. New weapon is not really that much. Yeah, but I think I'm going to get a new weapon soon. I don't know. I get the feeling that I'll find a nice sniper soon. I, I might be wrong, but I just get that feeling. So I'm going to, I'm going to chill for now and we'll see how it goes. A Manta Queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. Oh. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. I'll find Assault Rifle Ultra soon, so that's goodbye to the next light one. Yeah, I guess. Okay, here we go. Who am I speaking to? They sound like logical and and level-headed people. Let's see what they. Let's see if they actually are. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Okay. Welcome. I take back what I said. What do you teach? The Life. The truth that I have come to oh. learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. 
Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury. Yeah, the mutton chops are pretty awesome. Is the foundation he's rocking them, man. He's the rocking them. Is built. Shamelessly. Now, why have you come? Who the hell even knows, man? Okay. I'm just looking for ways to help people. Anything need doing? Oh my god. Let's go for it. A great many things, in fact. Oh no. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up. Ah, uh, I've been there. Okay. Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. Are these the rebels? The press sort of, yes. Again with a little elbow grease and luck. Will you aid us in our cause? Lumen, you have just gotten a quadrillion fetch quests. I'm waiting for them to be piled on. Yes. Wonderful. I'll help. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought... Oh my rollers. god, I hear it now. You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. It's Mirage. Be up for a run for a while it's because he's speaking so it deadpan and calm. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Actually... It's not that he's calm or deadpan, it's it's his delivery where he's trying to sound really proper and he's also sounding a bit like a robot. But then he's using a higher tone in his voice to make him sound like a good person. One That's of what our it sympathizers. is. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf. Anyway, no, what we're saying is Mirage's voice. From Apex. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Hmm. Okay. So where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. I've been there too. Okay. Huxley. The runner from the northern ruins. I helped her get out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. I didn't know she was from here. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn. So bright-eyed. So tone deaf. Yeah, it's kind of weird. He's not making jokes. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? <laughs> Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay, he wants the comic books. She wants the food and medicine. I, I understand the relationship completely. There's absolutely no way I'm reading all of this. There's absolutely no way. I love reading, man. I do. I love world building. I love all that shit. But that is a little excessive. There's no way. There's no way. Hello? Okay. What are you rocking? Heavy machine gun? Cool, man. You too? Cool, 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 cool. I'm feeling it. Hey, Frothy, what up, man? Good evening. Who's this? Okay, let's get out of here. This music is kind of nice. What if he's actually a robot and he just wants to complete a quadrillion fetch quest, take the items, give you two apples in return, and then laugh at you and teleport away? It's quite possible. I'm ready for it. These weren't the ones Senjo were talking about. Was No, not them, not them. No, I don't think he really... Well, uh, no, he didn't have much to say about the icono iconoclasts or whatever they're called. <clears throat> they don't seem like they, like, they don't seem like they really bother anyone else. They just seem like they went off to live on their own, for the most part, I guess. Okay, so she's the realist here. Let's see what she has to say about this. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. That's fine. Besides... We just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Okay, you run the triage clinic here? 
Yeah, name's Zora. I've been patching up the Iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. Mm. If I can. After meeting that guy, I'm amazed anyone around here still has four functioning limbs. Don't get me wrong. He's got an uncanny ability to harden folks' spirits. And we need that around here. So you restore bones. That was a long time ago. Over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts and often that mental lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. You feel like game devs why, uh, want to include books, emails, uh, etc. to flesh out a world, but it's odd how it starts to feel like a chore sometimes. In real life, there's so much you can read, but you eventually feel fine ignoring some books. Hard to make yourself ignore text in many games. Yeah, so Frothy, it's, it's very... Look, so the way I see it, okay, it's very easy as a game dev to make people care more about it. So I was discussing this earlier. Make it... A, more relevant, and B, slightly more brief. You know, play into the, the lore of the world by making some of the stuff corrupt. Making some of the people, like, uh, slightly less literate, so they don't type long-ass messages everywhere. Sure, the board and the people like them will always type these long, long-winded messages and replies and stuff, but, like, let them contain stuff that's relevant to you, that's relevant to the area you're in, that's also going to give you something in terms of gameplay. It's like a lot of the stories and stuff I'm seeing right here, the reason I'm just skipping through it quick, quick, quick is because I know it might add a little bit of flavor to the world and it's only a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to be like the ultimate fluff. And I really think that they can do it and they have done it in many areas way better where they, they do keep it more brief. And I don't know, man, it also depends, I guess, on the type of game that you're playing and, and how the pacing of that game is. Because right now, I feel like this game has one problem, okay? And and this is what I discussed earlier. Okay, I've got two problems. One is the, the tech issues where it performs kind of badly sometimes. But the other problem I was mentioning was that the pacing is a little bit off, where you, you know when you enter a town... You like you sigh and you feel this heavy weight pushing down on your damn soul feeling like it's going to crush you because you have to speak to 300 people and you have to go through every single house and check everything because you know that you might miss out on stuff and i know that that's a bad way of looking at it because oftentimes you you know you do that to yourself it's what you signed up for you know but at the same time you don't want to miss stuff so you want to see what there is. It's kind of hard, man. It's it's really hard to have a nice balance, I guess. It does seem wasteful to buy press parts rather than food. So yeah, I mean, this game, I just think that the pacing's a bit off. You have a little bit of action and or combat, then you have way too much talking and or reading. And then you have a little bit of action again. And then and sometimes those, those, those segments are like completely out of whack. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts. And folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. You like the way Deus Ex Human Revolution did it? You got a lot of lore, but you also uh, hacked computers to find passwords and get information. Yeah, mini games, man. Where the shit am I hacking mini games? That'll make it much more fun to hack into stuff. Do you always talk to your leader like that? When he's being an idiot, sure. That's good. What happened to the ruins? A Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. I've killed a few of those the already. the gunfire attracted raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. You found a queen that far north? Wish I'd been there. You and me both, Nyoka. We could have used the help. Everyone knows Listen, her. Unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Need any help? Talking to me is always urgent. Now that's a response. You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Oh my god. That's kind of genius, Frothy. Maybe if the devs color-coded things. I mean, why does no one think of shit like that? Blue would mean relevant to the main quest. Yellow means relevant to side quests. White means fluff. And lore you can ignore without impacting gameplay. That's genius. That's genius. You could even use like a faded system where... where 
the uh, opacity on the really important ones are really high and then the, then as they get less important the opacity goes lower <laughs> so it's like the the quality grading on items you could say same as what you suggest in basically and um i think that if you do it that way then at least people will feel much more comfortable when they're flicking through things to quickly discern you know one from the other that's quite smart man i really i really like that that's really good well done like legit well done that's wow huh yeah it's like okay hold on let me tell you please so like that's kind of weird as well like see in in um what's the place called the ship the groundbreaker or whatever it's called you know the ship up in space there were a bunch of notes there okay that if i hadn't read them i wouldn't have found that secret hangar so it would have been cool if they had coded those in a brighter color or made them more private like more obvious if i hadn't read those i wouldn't have found the hangar and i wouldn't have found the cool loot and the people there and everything else here's huxley oh hello good to see you again hey found your terminal i fixed it up for you in milton's place oh my gosh thank you so much me and my diary have got some catching up to do Wow. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Yeah, some form of T TLDR mode would be great. Am I playing <clears throat> Red Dead 2 when it comes to PC? I am very strongly considering it. I'm not sure to what end yet. I don't know if I'll finish that game, but like on stream. But I really do want to play it, yes. I, I want to play it. I don't know if I will play it. I want to play it. Because if this game is anything to go by, I feel like my balance right now, it's a little bit off. I don't know. It's it's tough. It's like I, people. Are, it's like a it's a schlep of a story that you have to go through. There's a lot of talking and and reading that people don't like. And it's as I've been told many times by Teraxa and some other people, it's a very slow game. So. Well, on the way back, I we'll twisted see. something in my leg put area. Red Dead is never reading. Whoa, wait, wait really? My leg begin. Wherever that is, it hurts. I'd offer to take a look, but you should milk that for as much R&R &R as you can get. Oh yeah, good thinking. Maybe once it's all healed up, I'll go find that rock again. Arthur has so, a diary? No runs for me hmm? for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Without the kicking, I assume. Huh? Why? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long do you be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Holy crap. How do you hurt your leg? Let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get away from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for... I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Damn. Okay. That's rough, rough break. Okay, tough, tough life. Like the quest in Fallout with the missing girl by the robots in Far Harbor. I think there's a lot of similarities. What? Oh God! Whew, I didn't mean to steal that. I'm just I'm I'm in the zone. What's he doing? This is this is not a little boy. God, dude, that way that mother was talking about it, I thought it was like a a an eight year old. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I'm Captain Lumen. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Mmm. <laughs> Uh, you're Agnes's little boy from Stella Bay. I am not a little boy. Oh my god, he looks angry. I haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My wow. entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. 
Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. God, look at this guy's face. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a Jeez, little boy God. in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Damn, nice. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show you've grown up. Damn, that's a good one, dude. I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell him run away is for cowards. Show up with a bottle of vodka and some real good cusses. That'll show her how much you've grown. Then she'll think they've brainwashed me into some kind of hooligan. As far as she's concerned, if I make any decision that's not aligned with hers, someone else convinced me. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Yeah, I, I, I'm also pretty keen to get back into Fallout after all of this. <clears throat> but not soon. And the only mod I used in Fallout was the one to show all the quest markers on the map. He's pretty whiny for a 42-year-old. He's a product of his circumstances. His mother was exactly the same. Teach her the iconoclast philosophies. Convert her so she might join you. You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Good man. This is great. Dear diary, eat it. Hux. Amazing. <clears throat> I just need 55 science, then I can complete all the work orders here. Let me check quickly. Amazing. Oh my god, I just need five. Okay, so I can drink some mind juice and I'll be fine. Wait, that's not enough? I thought that was enough. Hello? I, I obviously don't understand how this works. Oh my god, I got 53 now. Do I have any weapons or armor? Science. I swear I had something with tech skills. Long guns. Inspiration. Melee. There we go. I just did someone's jobs for them. That's like, that's a lot of jobs right there that I did. Insane. In case anyone didn't understand what I was doing there, I hacked a bunch of stuff through the computer and fixed a bunch of stuff that was broken. Wait, what are we talking about? Minecraft? We're not. Okay. Good. <laughs> we don't need to be in Minecraft into this, okay? Okay, let's... Ooh, wait, that was loot there. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's a man named Ash here. Never seen you before. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. Just a lot of heartbreak. That's a voice. Yeah, he. this guy has seen some shit. I can hear it, man. I can hear it in his voice. What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar. I drink. I mind my own business. That's it. I overheard somebody saying you were the best to ask about real monarch. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk couldn't tell you. Look, 
You wanna buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. <laughs> I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pool. You know what that is? No. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, uh. the other always facing away. Okay. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcano's <laughs> so high, the peaks are in space. Steam is having problems right now. I see it on my Twitter. If anyone else, apart from John the Swede, is wondering. Apparently, because the sale started, it's busy being overloaded. So Steam is, is cur currently halfway down. The armor does look really cool. I like the padding. And yeah, you could probably fall asleep in there quite easily. Hey, Kratzel. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you. If there's no air, how do you survive? Oh, two breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through Halloween the Halloween sale or something? Full streaks of light. The funny thing is, down in the middle, there's just smooth rock. Circular light. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over. Mm. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment. Put my ear to the ground. Hey, Kratzel, how am I doing? How's the weekend? Any stories about the cute daughter? Uh, the weekend, weekend was great, dude. The weekend was great. I feel like I saw you so recently, man. But, um, I have a video that I'm going to post of Lillian that, uh, it does it for me. It's so good. She's super enthusiastic about her peekaboo book right now. And when she opens the pages, I, I told, I think I might have told this the other day. When she opens the pages, she, she does it like really violently. She goes like, she pulls it open and she goes, ha, to like, to like peekaboo at the, the picture in there. And in the video that I recorded, she, she pulls it open. She goes, ha, and she bumps her face with the book and she starts crying and it's the cutest. Th <laughs> I know, I know it shouldn't be funny, but it's damn funny and it's damn cute. And she, so she smacks her face when she's trying to give it a peekaboo. And oh man, then she then suddenly from the happiest face ever it goes to like the the saddest face ever and it's how old she's just one year now. She just reached a year. It's super cute. I'll put it on, on Twitter soon. Because why not? Uh so yeah, she's been doing great. She's been doing great. Other than that little incident, she's been doing great. It's hard enough to boil water and you just put your ear against a rock. I did get a burn on the low before I smartened up. Put a towel under me. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. Your youngest turned one uh, on September 26th? That's like... That's like pretty much the same age. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so what is this guy? You know, uh, that, that's terrifying. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna know what this is. I wanna know what this is. When there is a ground quake now, I hold my breath, cause I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, or wings getting stretched. Oh, dude, come on, man. A great many things. So did he tell me the story? Anyone, because there's actually something out there, or? To an old man ramble. Might be a job in it for you. Oh? I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. They what is it? Is, dragons? I ain't seen them <laughs> in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Okay. I think I know exactly what he's going to tell me to do now. He's going to tell me to go to the Chimera to place the Hero's Last Stand or whatever. Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. <laughs> Thing is, 
I got myself He's got away with memories. woods. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Okay. All right, one lockbox coming right up. You want mementos? What, photographs or...? Thereabouts. What if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it. I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. Wow, that's rough. Okay, I'll get it. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking now post on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Damn, that's sick. This is actually a quest I want to do. Cool. Please don't... Okay, phew. Keep it down. Wait, what is this? Ah. What do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing. I was just leaving. Suppose I can look the other way. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy right there. I'll be honest, I did not see that guy. Okay, so we done? We done? This is not the place I was coming for, by the way. I was looking for Fall Brook or whatever, and I ended up here, and this is like not even the place. This is not even the place. Let's track the quest from that guy. I want to do it right now. What the shit? That's not what I thought. Okay. Return to Agnes. Catherine. High capacity cartridges. 